hi everyone um, today we will be discussing a very interesting property of uh, modular arithmetic namely that of modular reduction let's see what this means um, so to appreciate this let us uh, take a very simple example of a uh, digital clock so I have uh, brought up a clock over here um, let us see now here this clock has been deliberately chosen to operate in 24 hour mode which means that this will range between 0 and 24 the minute hand will range between 0 and 60 and the second hand will also range between 0 and 60 and now keep watching what happens when this one approaches the number 60 okay um, so here we are at the 30th second 31 32 and so this goes I want you to watch what happens when this reaches the number 59 after 59 what happens to it does it become 60 what happens to this so keep watching for a minute 51 52 53 54 55 ouch this became zero did not become 60 and it recycles itself back from zero to 59 the same situation happens here this was 39 it became 40 then this will become 41 this will become 42 by the time the minute hand reaches 59 and it increases by one it again becomes zero zero and this becomes 16 which becomes 4 p.m and this ranges between 0 and 24 so after this reached 23 59 and 59 you add 1 this becomes 0 this increments by 1 becomes 0 and this increments by 1 23 does not become 24 it resets to 0 so this resetting is what modular reduction is all about reducing so let's take a look at some examples here having just enlightened ourselves with this clock idea um, so you have something like uh, 29 is congruent to uh, say uh, 9 more 10 because 29 minus 9 is a multiple of 10 notice one thing we are talking of the modulus here 10 in the case of the clock for the hour hand the modulus was 24 for the minute hand it was 60 and for the second hand it was 60 and if you just noticed what happened all numbers involved in the second hand ranged between 0 and 59 when the modulus was 60 here the modulus is 10 which means all numbers should range between 0 and 1 less than 10 which means between 0 and 9 the maximum is 9 so when you have any number greater than 10 like 29 you can reduce it to something equivalent between 0 and 10 which is 9 in this case and how do you do it it's very easy divide 29 by 10 take the remainder your remainder is going to range between 0 and 9 which is precisely what this reduced equivalent modulus is okay um, so this is how uh, you reduce so let's give a second let's do a second example so 17 is congruent to now let us uh, let let the modulus be 5 what modulus 5 anyone can tell me is uh, is modulus 5 so it should range between 0 and 5 minus 1 which is between 0 and 4 and obviously the correct answer is 2 because you divide 17 by 5 the remainder is 2 and uh, you know very well because 17 minus 2 is a multiple of 5 this is 15 17 minus 2 or 15 in the first case it was 29 minus 9 or 20 okay so one very easy way of determining this is by dividing 
by determining this is by dividing this by the modulus. A second easier way in case your numbers are small and you don't want to uh, do that division is to keep on subtracting this modulus repeatedly from this number until the result became negative and if it became negative then the last positive result happens to be your resulting value so 29 minus 10 is 19 19 minus 10 is 9 9 minus 10 is negative 1 ah so that 9 the last positive value is your answer similarly 17 minus 5 is 12 12 minus 5 is 7 7 minus 5 is 2 too many subtractions in this case three times so it was easier to divide in this situation i'm just suggesting that sometimes that trick helps you the reason why I mentioned about this trick is because it could be useful for you when your numbers involved are not positive. In fact, when they are negative. For example, what about negative 29 is congruent to what? Mod 10. You can add 10 this time. Negative 29 plus 10, negative 19, negative 19 plus 10, negative 9 negative 9 plus 10 is plus 1 so the answer is plus 1 you see in this situation it was easier for you to divide 29 by 10 to get the number 9 or it was easier to divide 17 over 5 and get the remainder as 2 what happens if you divided negative 29 by 10 will you get 1 as a remainder you're dividing a negative dividend by a divisor so your argument will be something like 10 goes in negative 29 two times so the quotient is in fact negative two times so negative two times 10 is negative 20 and you have negative 29 so the remainder is negative 9 ouch what are you getting plus 1 so what is the fallacy here? We will discuss that when I try to relate in the next slide, the next presentation, the meaning of this modulus reduction, reduced modulus with the actual division. And during that discussion, we will also be talking about floors and ceilings.